Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here, popping in for a little quick chat. Now, today we're talking about single and self-love. But before we get started, I want to tell you about today's shout out, Miss Amber Lewis. So she's in the community and here with the Blessed Tribe and the um, Tony Gaskins Academy. Now, Amber Lewis, she's based in Houston, Texas, and she is a mobile massage therapist so she comes to you so if you're in houston or you're in a surrounding area she even will fly to you if you're an athlete and you're somewhere world class elite she'll fly to you she offers several different massage services and so she's our video sponsor today her website is blissmfn.com now some of the things that she focuses on is sports specific rehabilitation my son who was 14 and my niece who was 14 they both do those type of massages and it is life-changing pre and post op operation athletic recovery so after you have you know a surgery injury prevention athletic recovery programs pre and postnatal pre and post op meaning mommy makeover bbl y'all know y'all looking into them bbls lymphatic drainage and augmentation so check out miss amber lewis on her website i have all the information in the description her business phone number and her business website you know don't don't be calling harassing and you know bothering her if you really looking for some services Let's support each other in the community. You'll see other video sponsors. If you don't know about the video sponsor, then you're not really in the community what we're talking about, meaning the Blessed Tribe or taking a course on Tony Gaston's Academy. Um, so you'll be hearing about these and let's support each other. We always talk about how we don't support each other. And then when we want support, it seems like nobody's supporting and then we forget to ask ourselves well who have we supported sometimes even if i can't you know buy a service i just make a donation five ten dollars whatever just say hey keep going so let's support each other when you see our sponsors her website is in there and if you're in houston definitely let her drive to your house apartment and give you one of these mobile massages so back to our topic what we're talking about today and my shout out was supposed to be um, 30 seconds, but y'all know I'm long winded. So that was three minutes. All right. Uh, Amazon in the chat. So single and self love. Now, when you think about this, a lot of times when I'm doing a seminar, I ask who in, in the room is single. And what I found is sometimes it's like 70% of the people there are single. But when you're single, you go through a lot of these ups and downs. And I'm dealing in coaching with a lot of singles. And here's the thing what you have to remember is your input is going to determine everything in your life. So what you're watching and what you're listening to and then what you're telling yourself, that's going to determine everything. So it really is on you. And you have to understand this. You can't get caught up in society's body clock is society's timeline because your timeline is your timeline so society may have a timeline and say hey when society promotes these agendas through the media you don't know the real goal of it and what they're trying to do so when it tells you that a woman should be married and a mother by the age of 28 that's also to go ahead and get these kids going, get these kids in the school system, get this shopping going for the kids. That's money being spent. That's taxes being paid. It's all kind of little stuff that go into getting this family started and having this union, having these double incomes. You paying these taxes and it could be based on a life expectancy of 70 years. And, and so you never really know what you are being fed and why you're being fed that. You also have your own health and wellness your own body and diet and the way you live your life so if you want somebody people reach out to me stressed out at 25 i'm like you a baby life just getting started like think about this 
My grandmother smoked cigarettes, she told me, I think she said from the age of 19. My grandmother died at 82 years old. 82, that's a good life. So guess what? If you meet your husband at 60, if you get married at 60 and you live to 82, that's 22 years of marriage. Do you realize it's hard to get through five years of marriage? Because it's two different personalities. You got to learn each other. You got to learn how to mesh. You got to learn how to build. It's two different personalities. So when you get to five years and if you happy at five years, oh, you're doing amazing. If you happy at 10 years, you're doing amazing. 15, 20, it's a lot of people that get divorced at year 20, year 25, some even year 30. So realize this, your timeline is your timeline. Stop looking left and right and comparing yourself to your Facebook friends that you're not even real friends with or your actual friends because you don't know when their expiration date is. You don't know why God moving in their life at this particular time and if it's because they're going to get called home earlier or if it's because they got a job that's coming up or they got a move that's coming up. They got a situation that's coming up, good, bad, or indifferent. We don't know why this person is getting married and this person getting married and you not married. We, we, you can't get caught up in that, but what you have to do is you have to remind yourself, I choose happiness. I choose joy. I choose to be positive. I choose to work on me. So here's what you got to do. Take and create and craft your life and give your days direction. So today, plan your tomorrow. And outside of the work that you have to do to pay your bills, write down and implement into your day calendar the other most important things you need to do. Do you need to read your Bible? So what time are you going to read it? 6 a.m. or are you going to read it at 9.30 p.m.? Do you need to do 30 minutes of exercise? It could be 30 minutes of walking. It don't have to be burpees and mountain climbers and the hardest thing in the world. Do you need to do 30 minutes of exercise? Yes, you do. So when you gonna get it in? In the morning, lunch break, and then go sit in them people chair moist, or you gonna get it done at night, okay? When you need to talk to your friends and your family, cause you need to keep a connection to your loved ones, to your close friends and your family. 30 minutes, when you gonna put it in? Morning or night? You see what I mean? So, and you need some, some knowledge. You need to feed your mind. So if you're reading your Bible, that's some knowledge. But then what else you working on? This video is a part of your, your daily uh, schedule because this is knowledge in love and relationships, life, business, what have you. So therefore, what you gotta do? You gotta find out, okay, at 9 p.m., or at 10 p.m., that's my video, that's my YouTube time. You need some relaxation. So what time is that? If this is seen as relaxation as well, but this also could be stressful because some of the some of the reporting live, some of the stuff that you hear, it, it could get on your nerves a little bit because of the state of our world. So after this, you might need some relaxation. So what you have, what you drank your red wine? Now don't be on that brown liquor. You drink your red wine, a little white wine, and, and, and you read your fiction book so that you go into a little fictional world. That's what my wife's been doing. She's she been reading fiction books, like a book a week, because it's just her escape from the monotony of just day-to-day -day life. It just give her a little escape. She could just not think about what all got to be done, what got who got to be here, who got to be there, and she just read a book, just read a Kindle. I'm going to start giving away Kindles. I wish I could figure out how to do a little raffle, not raffle, but a little, you know, random giveaways. I, You know what? I did see a site that you could do that. I, I've been meaning to sign up. I need to sign up and get that set up. I'm, I just want to start giving out a Kindle every month. Just, you know, just have your son to read. Even if you, and you need to get my books on there. Nah, don't get my Kindle and don't have my books on there. So listen to me. Give your day's direction. Get your day planner. Write out your day and grade yourself make sure that every day you have the things in there when in the beginning of my life coaching i had created this kind of like calendar for my clients and it was like 
they had something to do every day and then they'll get graded out at the weekend at the end of the week to see what they did and that's how i live my life so today i'm i'm doing a little you know type of cleanse meaning that's like drinking water i'm gonna stay off the carbs today and tomorrow i fly out wednesday so just kind of let my body just look a little relax stay off the carbs too heavy do my little cardio 30 minutes a little cardio and drink a bunch of water so i got that on my list and i got to check that off because i'm going out of town in a couple days i'm shooting videos i'm shooting video so you have to identify at least your top three priorities for every day of the week and you got to plan that tomorrow today and then you got to check it off reward yourself pat yourself on the back hey good job got it done boom and then you can have yourself a reward whatever that may be for you but this is how you have to love yourself when you're single or in a relationship but self-love is for me it's what i call the highest level of love and what i mean by that i have four levels of love lust like love and self-love people always tell us we got to love ourselves first before we love somebody else and that is true but we just don't often times do it a lot of times we'll love somebody else in place of ourselves we'll love somebody else instead of ourselves and so you can have the highest level of love and it could be first it could be first just because i say it's the highest level of love and what i mean by self-love being the highest level of love is it's one thing to love somebody else but if you love them and they're not loving you back then you're not loving yourself so love a lot of times our love is when we love somebody else but we don't but we're not strong enough to walk away and that's why i say the highest level of love is self-love is because self-love loves somebody else the self-love loves others but self-love also protects yourself meaning that you have dignity standards and you're willing to walk away you're willing to say i love you but i love myself as well and i refuse to be mistreated and dogged out and disrespected so i'm gonna let you go and you need that level of self-love and you develop it in how you treat yourself while you're single because people will treat you the way they see you treat yourself and a lot of times people don't understand that and they, they refute that and they try to deny it. It's like, oh, well, I, I wouldn't cheat on myself. I, you know, but I got cheated on. Yeah, you got cheated on, but there was little things before you got cheated on. When you got yelled at and you let it slide. When you got lied to and you let it slide. When you got disrespected and you let it slide. When they got distant and you let it slide. It was little tests that came before the big whammy, the big cheating. And those little tests was a setup to see what will you tolerate. So if you'll tolerate getting lied to, if you'll tolerate getting ghosted for a few days, if you'll tolerate getting yelled at, if you'll tolerate getting cursed at, then that lets the person know you will tolerate being cheated on. So a lot of times people say, well, that's not true because I treat myself well. No, you don't. Because if you treat yourself well, then people are going to know to come with respect to you. Because any little thing they do that's disrespectful, that's out the way, you checking them on it. And so now they know how to approach you and how to treat you. So, hey, think on this. Sit down with this. Spend some time with this. Get this in your spirit. And remember to check in the description and visit Miss Amber Lewis uh, website. And if you're in Houston... You better be on the on, on her client list, getting your old massage. Cause I don't want to hear it when you start your business and you ain't got no support when somebody right there in your city or your state got a little business um, and getting going. This this looked like a young lady who you know she don't look too far out of college, um, starting her business. So I I really commend you, and I I made this offer to my audience to sponsor videos on through the mailing list, do an email blast. So this right here, and she was the first one to write in, the first one to sign up, you know, and for this opportunity. So that, that mean a lot to me. Hey, God bless y'all. We'll talk soon.